Today, we're talking about Superior, a co-op roguelike third-person shooter developed by Drifter on the Gala Games platform, which will be playable on PC and will launch at Q4 2022. Jump into the world where all superheroes have turned into evil abominations. Each game session, you will start with no skills and basic weapons, underpowered and outgunned. For every evil superhero you hunt down, steal their powers and take them as your own. This will allow you to take on even tougher challenges, gain experience and level with every hunt and permanently upgrade your characters. Each character has a different skill set with branching skill trees and the higher you level them up, the higher the advantage in future hunts. So what are you waiting for? Hunt those superheroes and take their powers as your own. I'm going to leave the recent alpha test playing in the background while we talk about the features, gameplays and NFTs. Speaking of alpha playtest, Gala Games has partnered with Alienware to give away the Epic Games launcher keys for the next Superior playtest. Click on the link in the description or in the comment section and claim your key now to participate in the next playtest happening right now. Also, if you haven't made a Gala Games account, then if you could sign up using my referral link, that would be awesome. You never know, we might get something once they revamp the current referral system. Let's talk about gameplay first, since if the game's not fun, you're not going to play it even if you can make some money from it. But this game is hella fun. I've spent several days just messing around with the different characters, skills, weapons, and other features. As you can see from the gameplay in the background, whoever made the Xenos skill set needs a raise. I'm loving the skills, and the force skill tree with the up close quarters characters is pretty fun since you're bouncing people off your force sword and then grinding them with your sword blades. So far the game is like a hub and dungeon system where you get all your item skills upgrades from the bar and then leave to go on missions. You visit the bar after every mission, which gives you the chance to upgrade your loadout skills, powers, and sometimes even buy weapon upgrades. After that, it's a series of two normal missions and then the boss fight. Currently, the bosses you can fight are Backbone, Wind Up, and Brute Force, starting from threat level 1 up to 3. There will probably be higher threats in the future, considering this is just an alpha. In sense, it's like Dungeon Defenders. But instead of waves, you get missions and you visit the tavern after every wave instead of completing the whole level. Next up, let's talk about NFTs. So what type of NFTs will there be in Superior? Superior will have several types of NFTs ranging from accessories, weapons, cosmetics, skins, characters, and much more. Gala Gold members have already received a Gold Plasma Rifle skin if they were a member before April. They also have discussed the possibility of including NFTs for other ecosystems. So you could possibly see a mini version of your spider tank running around in Superior or your Miranda's dragon shooting fireballs at enemies randomly. That's what I would like to see anyway. Currently, they are selling their character NFTs. Right now, you can buy Ronin Prime, Nomad Prime, and Murma Prime, ranging from Uncommon to Ancient, following the Gala game system. For the average Joe like you and me, stick to Uncommon or Rare. Epic if you want to splash some cash, because the higher level NFTs cost quite a bit. Players without an NFT will still be able to play Superior. The team wants everyone to play and enjoy the game they will have the full superior experience as a free-to-play player. Players that have NFT characters will have bonuses, additional skills, better play to earn potential, higher level cap, better experience multipliers, etc. All characters have a level cap based on their rarity, but the level cap can be raised with the infamy system. Gaining infamy raises your level cap, but will reset your skills to a slightly higher level than they were at the very beginning. This is like the skier's transmigration system, and I was a huge fan of that. Any superior character can become infamous, but the NFT character's infamy points and level cap stay with that NFT character permanently, even if you transfer or trade it. Also, common characters can potentially increase their permanent level to the same level as ancient NFTs if they become infamous enough. So this basically means if you play long enough, you can be the same as a higher level NFT. This is going to open up the market for people to just grind and level characters to max and resell them as a form of making money. I can imagine a team of three friends grinding day in and day out leveling these NFT characters and making money while doing it, all while enjoying the game and having fun. Because in the current alpha playtest, I was having a blast, even though I did die quite a bit. But once you level up your character and get some skills in there, you can start to feel the difference. Here are the current NFT characters available on the Gala Game Store. Ronin was the first character to be sold on the Gala Game Store. His archetype is Bruiser, he's equipped with a katana and an SMG. The ideal character for those who like the up close and personal engagement. His skill trees are based on overshield which allows you to stay in close quarters combat longer and continue to deal damage and take a beating. Nomad is the first sharpshooter R-type in Superior, but with a twist. You're a sniper, 
but you also shoot down lasers from the sky. It's like Gears of War's Hammer of Dawn, but you're doing it way more often. Momo is the rogue character in Superior. She's nimble, sneaky, and pretty much a glass cannon. Her playstyle is more of a hit and run style, but she can deal tons of destructive damage if used properly. Infamy tokens are another NFT that will be in Superior. Currently, they are not on sale in the Gala Game Store, but are buyable on OpenSea or any other marketplace that supports Ethereum NFTs. They were dropped to people who bought the first NFT sale for the Superior Run in Prime. You can use the infamy tokens of the same rarity as the character, so a rare token with a rare run in Prime to become infamous without the in-game cost. Each infamy token can only be used once, so you will need to think carefully if you want to use it for a quick boost to power or hang on till the end game where the cost of the infamy will be higher. There are no weapon entities currently on the Gala game store, but while I was playing the playtest, they had a wide variety of the weapons like shotguns, SMGs, rifles, DMRs, LMGs, turrets, grenades, as well as several types of damage like energy, plasma, explosive, impact, force. Like other Gala Games games, Superior is planning to have its own nodes. Currently, there is no set in stone idea as to how and what they would do, but in the Medium blog, they mentioned that they could be custom servers with private versions of the game, potentially with special rules, twists, and gameplay controlled by the node operator. That does sound quite appealing to me if the price is right. Gala games can get quite expensive at times. So let's move on to what to expect from Superior in the future. The Drifter team talked about several ideas in the AMAs previously, so check them out when you have time. But here's a quick summary. Superior isn't going to be a launch and drop game. They will continue to develop and support the game's growth in the future. They have several ideas on the future NFTs and features like Team vs Team PvP, but they want to focus on getting the core gameplay solid and robust before they introduce alternative game modes. I would love to see game modes like Onslaught where you have to defend against a ridiculous wave of enemies, Tower Defense where you have to protect an objective with a turn-based wave system and whatever their creative minds can put together. That's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you've learned something about one of the epic games that will be launching on the Gala games probably by the end of this year or early next year. All depends on how Gala or Jiri Chain is doing, but since Spider Tanks is launching on the 31st October, I think they're nearly done with the basic version. If you want to learn more about Spider Tanks, check out this video in the top right. As always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well as hit that like button and turn on the notification bells so you know whenever I release a video or stream content for the Web3 NFT crypto gaming metaverse revolution that's going to happen in the next 2-5 years.